Hello and welcome back to the channel, uh, welcome to Don't Starve Shipwrecked, I've been wanting to play this for a while, I've played a little bit just to get the hang of it, but I wanted to save it for the channel, so let's get going. I like the loading animation. Okay, so here we are. On the desert island. So, as we were woken by a uh, rather rude parrot, uh, let's get a load of resources collected. From the moment we start, we want to be collecting these. So, I've played the original Don't Starve game. I absolutely love it. I've played uh, Don't Starve Reign of Giants. Uh, that DLC, that is really good. And uh, this is like my third time playing this. Uh, so, I know how to start. I'm not too... Um, too confident with it, yeah, but I am really enjoying it because it is a really fun add-on. So let's keep collecting a load of twigs and uh, grass and flint. Flint is really important on the starting island because we want to be able to cut down these trees. Uh, so let's cut down the trees and get some coconuts. Now, you can eat the coconuts, you can plant them, it depends what situation you're in. Uh, I prefer to eat them at the beginning because you're normally not going to be staying on the island for long and there is quite an excess of trees at the start. Right, let's keep chopping down the trees. We need a, uh, a lot of logs to build a fire at night and to build a raft to get off this island when we've already got most of the resources. We're not going to be looking out for anything like seashells yet because I found that in this version of the game due to the addition of uh, Bamboo, I think it is bamboo, and things like that, you end up not having a lot of inventory room at the beginning of the game. Uh, I found that a really big problem, uh, so I've had to craft a backpack quite a lot of the time quite early on. Uh, so we're not going to be collecting too many different odd resources yet, we can always come back to the island later. So this island looks pretty good for resources, we've got uh, two flint, that's enough to make another pickaxe, well a pickaxe, uh, and then we'll be able to chop down or mine a load of these rocks so we can get even more flint and then then we'll be set. So mining down boulders I think it just gives you rocks uh, which is still important we can build a fire pit with these eventually uh, but we also want the uh, actual rocks up here. They do give you nitro which I'm not sure what it's going to be used for actually. Uh, I'm quite intrigued because I don't remember it being used that much in the original Don't Starve game with the addition of Reign of Giants, that brought in a few uses for it, with like endothermic fires. But this currently doesn't support endothermic fires, so uh, Reign of Giants, so there aren't any endothermic fires yet. So we'll, ha we'll have to see. Uh, there are a lot of features in this DLC that I haven't actually found out about yet. Okay, so we've got enough to build a campfire when we need to. Uh, we've got enough to build a boat already. Or should we craft... I think we should craft a raft. I think the uh, lasts quite a bit longer. We'll still collect a few more resources on the way. You can never get enough of these. So basically, whenever you find them, just pick these up. Uh, flint and rocks are also quite good to pick up because flint you don't find too much of if you're not mining. And it is easy to run out of it. If you're creating a lot of tools, then you will find yourself, you're going through a lot of flint. Here we've got a limpet rock. I have heard that these, that the limpets do respawn, so you're not supposed to mine them. Uh, so we'll just leave that rock be for when we come back to this island in the future. Again, destroying boulders for the uh, rocks. In fact, we don't even have enough. I'm just going to skip gathering that rock. It was a waste, but I don't have enough flint to create everything. So let's get some bamboo. How much bamboo do we need for this? Four. Three more. Two more. Right, so we've got enough bamboo, we just need to get the uh, weird twig things, I can't remember what they're called. Vines. Oh, yeah. Oh, limpets. We'll need the food to survive the first night, but this food 
we won't be living off this for the remainder of the game. We're mostly going to be fishing. Um, as I see that as quite a renewable way to go about it. Two more of these and then we're done. Looks like we're not going to be escaping the island in time, but who knows. Oh, snakes come out. That's uh, not amazing for us. You want to avoid the snakes. They're quite aggressive. Uh, and they will hide in these bushes and brambles. Right, so we've got enough to craft a raft. We're not going to... Well, we're going to craft one now, but we're not actually going to place it down. If we just right-click, that'll uh, save it in there if when we want to actually place it. Uh, we're going to be uh, just collecting a few more resources before the... Uh, sun fully sets. If we look this tree just shook, uh, this, sorry this vine just shook, let's see if that means that there's a snake in it. Apparently not. I thought that meant there was a snake in it. Hmm, interesting. Oh there's a massive uh, snake and spider fight going on. And it looks like these spiders are winning. Wow. Luckily, the spiders aren't too aggressive um, in the daytime. Okay, let's get this campfire crafted. I'm ready to go. Let's cook up some berries. Let's cook up some limpets. We're going to be pretty much eating all of our food here. Uh, but that's not too bad because, like I said, we're going to be uh, fishing soon. There we go, pretty much full. Um, if you're wondering what mod this is, I think this is a mod. I'm not sure, I've had mods installed for quite a while, so I'm not sure what is a mod and what isn't, but this is the always on status mod. You should be able to find it on the workshop. Basically has all of your status so you don't have to hover over it or anything. Uh, which is all good. Let's get... Should we cook these coconuts? No, I think we should save them, to be honest. We've got a raft. Uh, what else can we create that we might need? Thatch pack. Uh, no. We're going to be searching for gold. That's one of our main priorities now. Let's put this raft on here. And let's sail off into the distance. Absolutely brilliant. Oh, a Wobster Den. I love the weird names they come up with uh, for these sort of stuff. Wobsters. Seaweed. Okay, seaweed's another one to uh, pick whenever you see it because it does provide a really good source of food. They will grow back, so there's no problem with renewability. Um, very easy to get, you just simply pick them up. There's no tool needed or anything like that. Unfortunately, you can't dig them up from what I know of, so you can't bring them back to your home or anything like that. It's quite unfortunate, but... To be honest, you're going to be doing a lot of sailing in Don't Starve anyway, so there's not really too much of a problem with going the extra mile just to find some seaweed. Right now we're in the uh, more deeper part of the ocean. As you can see, there's waves. If we go against the waves, it will partly destroy the durability of the boat, and um, it will make us quite wet. But if we go in the same direction as the waves, when we hit these sort of cartoony looking waves, we'll get a little bit of a speed boost. Unfortunately, I picked the wrong direction to go, so I'm now going against the waves um, to try and find some more land. Just looking on the map here, we have travelled quite a fair distance away from our first starting zone, uh, which isn't too... isn't too reassuring it's more oh oh we found some land okay this is good yeah it isn't too reassuring when you can't find any land but eventually you will come to some yeah here we go hopefully this land will include some gold because we really need gold as you can see there is a large excess of seaweed here let's mine all of it up and Hope that we can survive off this for day two. Yeah, I found that gold is quite difficult to find on this because you have to do quite a bit of sailing around, but this is the sort of place gold will spawn on. So that's that's looking good. And we found gold. Brilliant. This is absolutely brilliant. Day two and we've already found gold. What could you want more? Oh, 
craft a pickaxe. And here we go. Let's start mining up this gold. Okay, so it looks like we've got... We're going to have three gold. Unless this one gives us two. Nope. Looks like three gold. That is perfect. We've got the one gold for uh, the actual building of the science machine. I'm not sure how much it need yeah, you need for an alchemy engine. Because you need two electrical doodads. Each of which require two gold. So we'll need two more after we've made the science machine. But we don't need to worry about the alchemy, en uh, alchemy engine yet. Let's just worry about the science machine first. This might even be an island to set up a base on. Uh, usually islands only have like sort of one function. Like they'll usually be one with uh, rocks on, one with a bit of sand on. But sometimes you get these multifunctional islands. Uh, where they have quite a few different resources on. So they're good to survive on. Okay, looks like we do need a boat to get there. Uh, to get that grass. But we're looking quite good on grass. Almost full. But yeah, this definitely looks like a good place. We've got the monkeys. Apparently monkeys can fling their poop at you. And for the cost of sanity, I think it is, uh, you can then collect your manure. Oh, two golds. Here we go. That'll satisfy us for an alchemy engine too. Oh, and a touchstone. That's the first time I've seen one of them in this uh, DLC. Okay, we've got too many rocks. More gold. Oh, look at this. We're getting so much gold. I might even leave this, to be honest, because we don't need the rock, so... May as well leave it, because it should be labelled on the map. Yeah. A mandrake. I haven't seen one of them in ages as well. Okay, we can't carry any more grass. That was a waste. Anyway, it looks like we should be good to set up, like, a permanent base here. So let's make our science machine. See what stuff we can craft currently. Backpack, that's going to be really useful. Carry more stuff. Um, what do we need to make a spear? I think we need to refine some stuff to make a spear. Poison spear. Oh, that is going to be good. Uh, to make a spear, we need... Yeah, just to refine the rope and then we're ready. Okay, that's going to come in handy soon. Uh, what else can we make? A shovel. That is going to be very handy. We'll go out and mine... Uh, no, dig up those lava magma piles or something. Lava piles. Uh, sometimes lava can squirt out, and that is so fun. It does make you very toasty, though. Hmm. Interesting. Right, so let's get some food cooked up. We'll eat seaweed. Can they run somewhere towards the right? Oh, there he is. Just peeking his head into into the uh, fire light. Let's pick some more of this grass. May as well, uh, whilst it's night time, we can't really do anything else other than sit and wait. What else may, uh, might we want to create? For survival, is there anything that's essential at the moment? A fishing rod, that is quite important. Although we just need the silk. Is there anywhere we can collect the silk from here? We'll have a look over in this direction. See if we can find some silk. Because if we can, we can make a fishing rod. And um, once we've made a fishing rod, we can obviously go fishing. Don't know if you'd have guessed that. But unfortunately, it doesn't look like there are any spiders around. Got a uh, regular jungle tree. But it sure does not look irregular to me. Uh, regular to me. It looks more irregular. I have not found out what that does though. I think it's like the uh, weird trees in the base game. Where they drop the... I can't even remember. Like mysterious logs or something. <laughs> uh, but if it is, then that's cool. I have not found a use for them yet. I think it's something to do with magic. But I'm, I'm not that adva <laughs> advanced. <laughs> I can survive most of the game without the magic. Uh, but I haven't actually, I haven't ever been in the caves. 
And I've been playing this game for a long time and I've never been in the caves. I've just never dared to venture in. But I don't think there are caves in this version yet. Right, it seems like there are a lot more monkeys than I thought. <laughs> oh my god, this is a lot. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, apparently you can hit them and they won't attack back, they will just fling your poop at you. Poop, okay. Okay, well this one, <laughs> so far we've got one poop that's in the middle of the sea and the rest seems to have vanished, so yeah, that, that wasn't as successful as I thought it was going to be. We'll have to collect these flowers now, raise our sanity back up. Okay, so we, don't, we now know something new, they will fling poop at you, you've got to avoid it and wait for it to hit the ground, otherwise if it hits you, you will drain a large amount of your sanity. <laughs> as to be expected, I wouldn't want poop f uh, flinged at me. Flung. Okay, let's go and collect whatever's in these uh, lava piles. Should I even? I might even attack these bees to be honest. I think you can use the stingers for something. Oops. Okay, we've got enemy bees after us. Kill the bees. Have these monkeys just stolen it? Oh, they have, haven't they? Wow, well that was a uh, useless endeavour. No, no, no. God's sake, monkeys. Okay, we found out something new. Uh, you don't want the monkeys following you around. Maybe we should attack them again, just to make them run off. Okay, run. Oh wow, they're hitting me again. No. Dodge the poop. Stop following me. Okay, well well this isn't this isn't looking too good. <laughs> Let's just hope they stop following me. Oh my god, they're not. Okay, let's put some nitro down over here. We don't need it. They are so annoying. We'll just have to dig and quickly pick up whatever we dig up. Oh, they're still throwing poop at us as well. What dicks? Okay, they're going. Oh, this is good. This is good. We've currently wasted most of the day trying to get rid of the monkeys, but uh, hopefully we'll carry on being able to mine all these up. All this gold is absolutely brilliant um, because gold is required to craft quite a lot of stuff. We want to make a lightning rod as soon as possible because Lightning can be a proper stick up the arse if you're not ready for it. We'll dig up this and then we'll start heading back. So we're nearly back, let's get this fire started and we should have enough food to survive tonight and then we'll have to go out hunting for more food tomorrow. Burn this vine. Alright so it looks like tomorrow we're going to be having to uh, look for some more logs, uh, or not even look, just get some more logs um, because we're running out and get some more food. That is pretty much the main objective of tomorrow, day four. So far, we've found out that the monkeys are not friendly. Well, they are friendly, but not as friendly as you'd want. Ow. 
and we've got one sleeping right next to us. Absolutely brilliant. Well, as we have nothing else to do, I think I'll uh, end off the video here and say thank you all for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode, so goodbye.